Afternoon driver, both passengers here first at Banger before heading down to Holyhead. Okay, so press T to open the doors. Her mask key in. Uh, reverse it to usual. Set up the um, GSMR radio. So we're following along train 1 Delta 1 3. So 1 Delta 1 3. And we're standing at signal 004. So press enter. Now to set up the destination. This train is for Holyhead, so we need to key in destination one zero no one two one and enter. And destination outside is Holyhead. Set up the headlights. As so. And we are ready to depart. We just need to wait for the door to close. The next stop is Holyhead. Arriving at 15.09 Yeah, I set the season to uh, autumn, so we're going to get quite a bit of wheel slip. So it's about in Banger, the speed limit is 15 miles per hour and we have about 25 miles to go to Holyhead. So we are following train 1 Delta 1 3, the 1110. Birmingham International to Holyhead, calling up Birmingham International, Birmingham New Street, Smith Smithwick, Golden Bridge, Wolverhampton, Telford Central, Wellington, Shrewsbury, Gabowen, Chirk, Rubin, Wrexham General, Chester, Flint, Bethatin, Rail, Corwin Bay, Clandidno Junction, Conway, Penmore, I probably pronounced it wrong. Then Fair Feckin, Banger and Holyhead. I could have started this train at Chester, but I don't have two hours to record a video. So Speed limit is now 50, so it shouldn't take too long for 158 to accelerate to that. I'm driving the AP Class 158, the Perkins one, because that's the one Rio Trains Wales, or should I say, Transport for Wales, have instead of the Cummins ones. So, this is the Transport for Wales reskate for the Class 158. It's from Alan Thompson scene, like the last one. It looks really good. I really like it. And then on the rear we have the River Trains Wales one, even though it should be debranded. Anyway. Passenger view is the same as always.
So the speed limit is 45 until it goes up further to 40. Goes down to 40 as we cross over a bridge that I've completely forgotten the name of. So just slowly just bring our speed down to 40. I wonder why no one has it made this double track, because if you made a double track, you could run a lot more trains down here. Maybe there's not enough demand for it. Maybe it would be too expensive, which is why it's still single track instead of double. I think I'll just put a caption of what the bridge is called. Because I've completely forgotten. And what the river is called as well. I think the highest speed on this journey is 75 miles per hour. So we won't be getting up to 90. So the speed limit is now going up to 75 and it's going to be like that all the way to Hollyhead. But most of the way. There might be a few speed changes. I really do like this delivery. Looks really nice. I think I have seen this livery a few times at Oxford Road in Manchester. This is Han Fairpool, and then the rest of it, because I can't pronounce it all. Puffles are very short. So the Black Friday sale, what did I get? Uh, just two things, the Class 319 Volume Pack 1 for the Amstrad Powerhouse and the Class 150-2 from Amstrad Powerhouse, half price. So, <coughs> sorry. so I should be doing a video on either of those at some point. In the next video will be uh, class 309 from Camelforth to Preston in a fictional scenario. There's a track looking on real time trains for a train that ran from Camelforth to Preston that was electric, but I think they were just testing one line fives. So now that we're at 75, we can just cruise the train until we get to Hollyhead. There's a 175 going to Cardiff. Very, very long way. Uh, 
yeah, I think the farthest place I've been on the uh, so I think the farthest place I've been to on the North Wales coast is Clam Furple and then the rest of it. Mainly because I wanted to see the longest station name. I definitely haven't been to Hollyhead. It's really nice, I was 60. What was the number one for that? Maybe you should have. Maybe Travis already should know that it's coming. Did, <coughs> did whoever made this route just reuse assets from the Sail Carlisle route? Because the track looks the same, the walls look the same, the trees look the same. Maybe the trees are just from the European asset pack. Might be why, like a super pack. And then the child ones are like all the different routes that it uses. You know what I mean if you if you're a programmer and you can use inheritance. The other reason I'm going back up to 75. So the next station we'll pass through is Bedorgan. Sounds like Shadukan from Street Fighter. <laughs> I think all of these stations are quest stops because they're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Wait, if these are request stops, I just want to flag down a train that's going 75 miles an hour. We are in a quite a steep decline, so just use our brakes to control our speed. For some reason in the morning, especially on the weekend, I always wake up with a blocked nose for some reason. So the class 158, I do have quite a lot of experience with 158s, mainly Northern, because Northern have been winning trains between Leeds and Victoria and Leeds to Southport and Blackburn to Southport using 158s, which I normally get on. I mean, they d definitely do have a lot more capacity than the other sprinters. Well, probably a lot less capacity than than the 195s, because the 195s do have a lot of space, especially around the doors. I always had a bit of a pain to get out of the seats when there's a table, because the table is that low, you like to kind of get trapped in the seat, then you find it find it really awkward to get out.
So, what is happening with Northern Stocking 2020? The paces... I mean, in January 2020, the paces are still going to be here, despite Northern promising that they're not. There will be more 195s, which means other trains will be cascaded to other routes. Then the 153s will eventually be going to ScotRail, or other operators. The 144s are also going because they're also paces. I think the 156s are still going to be based around Manchester. Well, most of them because there are, well, there are quite a lot of 156s in Manchester. So we're now passing the dog in the station. What's that Haley? I mean, I mean, look at the track profile on the bottom of the screen. It goes up and I think it's going up and down. So we have about 10 miles to go to Hollyhead. The next station is Tai Crows. I probably pronounced that wrong as well. I probably pronounce all these station names wrong because I'm not Welsh. Ah yes, 74 signalling. So through Bedorgan we were uh, scheduled to pass through at 14.53. I'm not sure if we're on time because that was quite a while back. We are scheduled to pass through Bedor um, Thai Crows at 14.55. Two minutes late, somehow. That was Thai Crows. The next station is uh, Ross something. Uh, it's about R H O S N E I G R. I should use a phonetic alphabet. Oh well. Then one after that is Valley and then Hollyhead. So I don't like 158s to drive in train sim, especially because the Amstrad powerhouse has kind of substantially upgraded it. I mean, it sounds amazing, it handles amazingly, and it drives amazingly.
So yeah, as I said before, you can download this from Alan Thompson's thing. You just go to the reskin spot and then just scroll through until you find this. And then tagging, tagging along the end is 158820 in the revision as well, Silvery. We have six miles left. Seven miles. So the next video will be from Canforth to Preston. The video after that, I'm not sure. I think it might be on DP Simulations Creston route, where I'll take a mail train from Wellham to um what's the mail terminal called? Beaver C and Eisenbridge Crotsworth. Even though that part of the route is not finished and probably never will be. What else can I do with a video on? I could do with a video of the Ultra Powerhouse class 150-2, but where? What would, be an, what would be an interesting video for the class 152? I don't know, I don't know, I'll think of something. Maybe some maybe someone might upload something to the Steam Workshop, which I could have a look at. Maybe a new route, maybe a new good route, set in the northwest. That'd be nice. I, mean, I already did a video on the Silverdale line near Stock and Trent. That was that was ah, that's nice reception. So this is Valley Station. The next one will be Hollyhead. I head in three miles. Oh yeah, Virgin. So if you haven't heard, if you haven't heard already, Stagecoach kind of screwed Virgin out of the next franchise opportunity because they somehow brought the law or something like that. So Virgin will stop operating the Intercity West Coast franchise on December 7, 2019, and then. Sorry, and then after that, first Trenitalia, an Italian company, will operate the Inner City West Coast franchise. How well they will do, I don't know. I wonder why Northern hasn't introduced the Bradford to Manchester Airport direct train yet for December. Probably because of time traveling, I mean, there's already quite a lot of trains on the Calder Valley between North and Rochdale.
So that's been me going down to 15 miles per hour. So I think I can only break in step one because I've got to step two. You just get, <coughs> sorry, you just end up getting wheel slip. We have a clear aspect into Hollyhead, and we are on the up line. So just bringing us here down to 15. And at Hollyhead we are due into platform 2 at 15.09. You know, somehow the actual train got in at fifteen oh six. Also, in a very steep downward gradient. So uh, we are cleared into Hollyhead Station, platform 2. Just had a thought, which, one, which, which type of video do you prefer? Do you prefer like the high speed passenger trains or like the slow speed stopping passenger trains? Let me know in the comments. Because I don't mind doing slow speed stopping trains, but I kind of like prefer going high speed. By high speed, I mean like 75. So because this is the, this is the terminal station, I need to change this. So code 998. Enter and line service. Outside, it is not in service. I think the train just sits here for like an hour and then heads back towards Birmingham. So, at Hollyhead, I'm aiming to stop right at the end of the station. Platform. With a buzzer. So this is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed me taking the class 158 on the North Wales coast. Subscribe for more train, um, train, uh, train sim, I was about to say transport fever. Train sim, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Um, assuming I don't crash into these buffers.